Hey guys, uh, I've had some requests for a honey extraction video start to finish. Um, I did not pull this honey, so I can't show you that aspect, but I can show you where I'm starting at in the honey house. Uh, this honey was pulled by uh, a customer for me to extract uh, by the box is um, how I charge, and it's just a way to supplement. I'm already set up, so why not? Um, this honey come in, it's a little wet. Uh, by wet, I mean the moisture content is, is a little high. Um, fortunately for me, a lot of this honey is uh, uncapped, it's open, and that's gonna help me in drying it. Um, surface area is your friend when you're drying honey, when it's open like that, you have a lot more honey exposed to the air and you can dry it much uh, easier than you can if it was capped. So uh, I hope to be able to get this dropped by at least a point and a half, a point, something like that, um, which will help a lot. Uh, I don't have a honey dryer like a lot of large operations do. All I have are box fans and dehumidifiers. So. When you are checking with a refractometer, I like to check about the third frame in. The center frame is always going to be drier and the outside frame is going to be wetter. So I feel like you get a pretty good average on that third frame in. Now, we pull. I like to use this little tool that comes in the kit for adjustments and you will just dig and get a uh, bee on my head and get you a, a good little piece there and put it on the refractometer eat the comb because it don't need to be on the refractometer It's pretty good. It's very light honey, as you can see. Um, sweet, very sweet, lightly floral, uh, not much other flavors or any kind of real bite to it. It's a uh, cotton honey and um, it's just a very light honey, uh, delicate flavor. Um, just very good blending honey. It will lighten up most anything um, and improve the flavor because uh, it's just sweet. So you'll flip your lid back down and you're gonna smooth it out so that you don't have air bubbles. This adjusts to uh, get your view clear so that you can read the numbers and you'll hold it straight out. You don't want it up or down or straight out. This is adjusted for me. And this is about 19.3, which is pretty wet and um, Hopefully I'll be able to get that down to around 18 and a half. Um, we'll start off with about 24 hours and see uh, where we get from there. Uh, any improvement will be good. Like I said, um, this is a customer's honey and they pulled it. So they're gonna have to, uh, to live with it. Uh, their options would be to blend it in with uh, drier honey if it's not that far off. You know, if it's around 19, a um, little over 18 and a half, uh, they'll be able to do something with it and blend it and make it work so that it'll be stable. So the way that we're going to dry this honey is with dehumidifiers. I use these from Lowe's. These are high sense, uh, I think 70 quart. Uh, they have a continuous operation mode uh, so that you don't have to stop and empty them. Uh, they have a place where you can screw a garden hose. I have cut off garden hose. I run into my drain. That way I don't have to stop every few hours and uh, um, empty the container because it's, it's going to suck out some water early on. Um, and if, if it didn't have that continuous operation thing, then it would, uh, it would shut off and it wouldn't be running all night. Next is the box fans. I like to use box fans. I set these apart for airflow so that the air can get in between here and circulate because I'll also be running my wall fans. 
But these box fans set this way, sharing two stacks. The air will be forced down and it doesn't have anywhere to go. If you crisscross it, it'll come out. This way it comes up in a U shape and you can feel the air blowing out of the sides. So the dehumidifiers will dry the air out and the fans will circulate it across the cones. Um, and it's, it just takes time. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, I use these little pallets. They're kind of a bottom board with casters. Uh, you want to make sure that you're using a heavy duty enough caster to support the weight. Uh, you got to remember these mediums. You're looking at probably 45 pounds a piece, you know, 15 for the wood and frames, uh, and probably 30 pounds of extracted honey in there. So, uh, you want them to be easy to push around. If, if you use uh, casters, the wheels that aren't strong enough, heavy enough duty, uh, they'll either buckle or they just won't, they won't roll and you'll tip the stack over when you try to push it. Lord knows we don't want that kind of mess. Um, that's about it for now. We just gotta get all this stuff running and, and try to dry it out. And I will uh, probably do at least a few little short videos uh, showing the process. But this is uh, step one when it gets in the honey house. See what we're dealing with, get an average on the stacks and the moisture content and do what we can to dry it. So if you have any questions for me guys, let me know.